All right, gonna show depictions of the Roman Catholic pagan sun child at the Vatican. Gonna show some examples of this depiction, and no claim as a cherub, but in actuality, they're depicting the pagan Greco-Roman sun child. So here's the first picture. This is a, a sculpture at the Vatican of the Greco-Roman pagan sun child, and you have the face in the middle with the two wings. Now again, they're claiming this is a cherub, but biblical cherubs did not look like this. Biblical cherubs did not look anything like this. This is a pagan Greco-Roman sun child, and they can deny it all they want, but the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church, is pagan Greek Roman religion repackaged. So of course they're going to depict that subliminally. And this is just the Illuminati sun child, the Illuminati pagan sun child, being depicted on this sculpture right here. Because Roman Catholicism is just Illuminati false enlightenment. That's all that it is. Here's the next picture of the Greco-Roman pagan Illuminati sun child on this other statue, this other sculpture at the Vatican. And you have, again, they're claiming it's a cherub with this unscriptural depiction of what they think is a cherub, which is the sun child. You have the child, the child's face with the, with the wings. It's a pagan Greek Roman sun child. You know, you can call me a conspiracy nut all you want, but that's what's being depicted here. Here's the next picture. Here's a here's a more panned out shot of that same image of the sun child in the photo right there. The pagan Greco-Roman sun child of the Illuminati, the enlightened ones. That's what the Illuminati are called. Here is the next photo. This is actually, I believe, this is inside the Vatican, of. Again, the sun child, you have the face there, you got the two wings coming out. So it's the pagan Greco Roman sun child. You know? Again, where, did, where in the Bible do cherubs look like this? Where in the Bible are cherubs being depicted like this? Roman Catholicism has twisted the Word of God and adds to the Word of God their pagan man made traditions. So you got this unscriptural picture of a cherub, which is the pagan Greco Roman sun child. Here is the next photo. This is above a picture of a saint with the golden wings, kind of like the Vatican with the golden cup in her hands. Good, interesting comparison right there. Of the again, the pagan Greek Roman sun child in the photo. Here is the next picture at the Vatican of one of the pillars. You, you can almost see it as a Freemasonic pillar with the pagan Greek or Greco Roman sun child on there as well, the Illuminati sun child on that. Um, pillar as well, the Freemasonic pillar, symbolizing the enlightenment from the sun. You could see it that way. And here's the final picture of, uh, again, on a pillar in the Vatican, the Freemasonic pillar, with the enlightenment depicted by the Greco Roman Illuminati pagan sun child. Right there. And of course, interesting, you have the egg there at the bottom as well, an egg at the bottom, which the occultic significance of the egg, of, you know, an Easter egg, essentially. It's about the Babylonian mystical significance of that under the pagan Greco-Roman Illuminati sun child. And those are just a few examples. There's all kinds of pagan symbolism all over the Vatican, all kinds of satanic Illuminati symbolism just jam-packed in the Vatican. It's a temple of the Illuminati, a temple of Babylonian mysticism, and a temple of the Antichrist, and a temple of pagan religions of all kind. They got all kinds of uh, unscriptural statues. They got a depiction of, of weeping for Tammuz. They got all this other stuff. They got uh, depictions of the Antichrist, the New World Order, uh, the Jesuit led Illuminati, New World Order. It's insane. The Vatican is a temple of the Antichrist, it's a temple of paganism and occultism and Satanism. But those are just some depictions of the, of the pagan sun child, the Greek or Roman Illuminati sun child inside the Vatican. Just showing more examples of how the Vatican is a temple of paganism and the Antichrist. Don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.